Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be speaking about um, jealousy. Um, I was a very jealous girlfriend. I was the stereotypical psycho girlfriend, um, which everyone's always made fun of, which is kind of gross um, and people shouldn't say that. Um, but I was in a relationship for a couple of years when I was quite young and towards the end of the relationship, for probably about six months, um, my boyfriend was very clearly interested in a girl he was working with and he made it very clear and it made me feel really guilty for thinking that. Well, he made me feel really guilty for thinking that because he was like horrified at the suggestion and basically made me feel like I was crazy and I was a jealous psycho girlfriend and that there was no reason for it. And unfortunately that broke down all the trust in our relationship. And even though I don't think he actually cheated on me, I don't think he would have done. I almost felt like I was emotionally cheated on. It definitely didn't help hearing reports that, like, after basically immediately we broke up, he went and fucked that girl. Um, but it was kind of validating because I was like, oh, I wasn't being ridiculous and crazy. All that fear and all those feelings and of anxiety that was actually warranted. Um, but unfortunately, in subsequent relationships, I've not been able to get rid of that feeling. It's been horrible. I've had, like, full-on panic attacks, fully depressed, can't trust anyone. Um, but I'm making this video because I know that lots of people are in the same position and lots of people can relate. Uh, and people are jealous. And in my late teens, I managed to get through this. I managed to move past it a little bit. Um, but I want to share how I did that um, for anyone who's going through the same thing. Um, so one like helpful thing with that was counselling, uh, therapy, um, yeah, talking about things, talking about experiences that you've had before, um, experiences that you've had or that other people have had, um, speaking about your own securities and making these connections with your counsellor, um, it really helped, um, I mean, it took a while to get into, like, it doesn't just, like, sort of work like straight away but it definitely helped um it definitely did help after a while um but yeah I kind of had to change like the mode I was thinking so like for example like if a new boyfriend started going out like well went on a, like a night out with like his ex-girlfriend instead of like being really upset and being crazy and being horrible about it I'd just be okay with it and just let it happen and like have a good night with the girls and like just wouldn't think about it and that really did help um but like if you are in a situation where your partner is jealous and you do feel like suffocated and you feel like you're having to change your life constantly um and you're not feeling very happy um, and you feel like you're being manipulated or whatever, that is really not healthy and that's not an okay relationship and that's, like, way, way past, like, the stereotype of the jealous girlfriend. Like, that's just not okay. Like, your partner not wanting you to see, like, the opposite sex or be friends with the opposite sex, that's wrong and that's controlling and that's, like, the difference between being a little bit jealous and then being, like, controlling and, like, not okay. Um, but yeah, if you feel like you're in a relationship that's like jealous to the point of being abusive or you feel like you want to talk about how you feel um, within your relationship and if it is like jealous and horrible, like you need to speak to somebody about that and basically I'm putting this video out here um, uh, so you guys post your comments and I can get back to you with some advice maybe, but yeah.